Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Web Programming Practicals using HTML5 introduced by Technologics Take IT Easy. In today's video, we are going to design a web page with image maps. HTML images can improve the design and the appearance of a web page. For example, you can use IMG tag to get an image on your page. With IMG tag, you can use attributes such as SRC, that is a source of your image, alt, that is alternate text. In case if browser is not supporting your image, this text will appear and then style attribute also we are using just to specify the width and height of an image in pixels. After creating an image, we can have uh, uh, certain clickable areas on that image. So to get clickable areas on a single image, we will be using image maps concept. So the map tag is used to get an image map. The shapes are defined with area tags. So let's use this knowledge and let's create one clickable area, uh, one clickable areas uh, on a single page, a single image. Uh, and for that purpose, let's consider this example. Here in the body tag, we have uh, written ing tag. So this particular shapes.png, this image will be displayed, but this is a single image. Now it's time to create clickable areas on this single image. And for that purpose, in this ing tag, we have used one special attribute that is use map. Here no space is there, it is a single word. Here I have written the name hash shapes because my map name which I'm going to create that is uh, that is having the name shapes. On next line we have written map tag with an attribute name that is shapes. In map and slash map these two tags we have created three clickable areas. First area is of the shape circle. Second area is of the shape polygon and third clickable area is of the shape rectangle. Now, when we are using an attribute shape equal to circle, here coordinates, this particular attribute is having three parameters. The first two parameters for the circle shape are x and y axis of the center of the circle. And third parameter is nothing but the radius of the circle. So you can get these parameters easily using paintbrush, which I'll be showing you later in this video. Next, I'm creating another tag that is area. Uh, with this, I'm uh, just uh, saying that the shape is polygon. Uh, so you can see the triangle is there. Your three corners are there, and total coordinates are six, one, two, three, four, five, six. The reason is that for each corner, x and y axis we are going to consider. So here x and y, this x and y, and this x and y. So accordingly, how many corners are there? Those many x and y we need to specify in the polygon shape. And next clickable area is our rectangle. Here you can see four coordinates are there. The first two coordinates are of top left corner of our rectangle and last two coordinates are of the bottom right corner x and y axis of our rectangle. So this is how you need to specify the coordinates. Please remember if you are good in this particular coordinate uh, specification, then you can get any kind of image map on your page. So this is the code and this is the output which we are expecting. As I have promised you, I'll show you in the paintbrush how we can get the coordinate. This is our image. Just keep your mouse pointer in the center, tentatively keep your mouse pointer in the center of the circle. And here in the status bar, you can get X and Y coordinates of this center point. So you can note it down just on the same line X axis just uh, keep your mouse pointer on the periphery of the circle 
note down another x and y two points uh, you can the common point you can exclude and the remaining uh, two points you can say x2 minus x1 which will give you the radius of your circle likewise just keep your mouse pointer on this polygon first corner note down the x and y coordinates again keep it in another corner note down x y another corner note down x and y so this is how you can get the coordinates for polygon for rectangle keep your mouse pointer on the top left corner of your rectangle note down x and y bottom right corner of your rectangle note down x and y and this is how you will get all the coordinates now you can see the entire program which i have explained you i have copied in the notepad with the name shapes.html let's run this and see an output <clears throat> so i'll just press f5 you can see my single image shapes.png is there but that image is having three clickable areas if you will see outside the circle a normal arrow is there but as soon as i enter in the circle that shape is in changed into the hand shape so that means somewhere it is a clickable area likewise outside arrow inside the triangle that is polygon it's clickable area outside arrow inside the rectangle it is a clickable area let's click on the circle it is taking me to the google page click on the triangle it is taking me to the gmail page and let's click on the rectangle yeah it is opening the youtube page so we are having three different different clickable areas you can make use of this image map for uh, maybe solar system or maybe states of india you can define with all these shapes and multiple uh, places you can make use of this image map so that's all for this video on behalf of team technologies i thank you all for attending today's session and wish you all a very happy learning please like and subscribe our channel for more and more such practical